Today, they got to go up against a pretty good pitcher. Reynaldo Lopez gets a start for the Atlanta Braves. His eighth start, and uh, he's happy where he's at, and the numbers really look good for the right-hander. He's back in the rotation. Uh, started back-to-back 30-plus uh, starts back with the White Sox in 18 and 19. So the numbers overall really, really good. This will be a good test. The Padres pounding out many hits last night. See if they can carry it over today. All right, we are ready for game one of two in Atlanta. Padres playing great baseball. Stepping up to the plate for the Padres is Luis Arise. 2-2 on the way. Arise swings, lines it into left field, and a base hit. Lead-off single and more of the same for Luis Arise, who has now reached safely in 24 consecutive games. At least from my standpoint, Luis Picasso Arise. Artwork as he shoots the ball in the left. A fastball down and away. Enough single for a rise to get it started today. And here is Fernando for the first time. To short, this could be two. Orlando, Ozzy, Olsen. Six, four, three, two away. Well, that's kind of what Lopez can do to you because you see that slider right there because of the fastball and, and how it can jump on you. Guys will cheat a little bit to get started. And then he throws a perfect slider like that on the outside corner. And you get an easy double play ball. Talk about saving your pitch count, too. And that pitch count hadn't been a problem for him. So far at 370 in the month of May. His on base percentage coming into this game, 422. Now, to quantify that, if you're around 300, 333, you're getting on one, you know, one out of three times. He's getting on four times plus out of 10 times with that on base percentage. It's been awesome. 2 2 pitch on the way. Check swing. He went strike three. It was the slider. Just like we talked about, that's his sharpest pitch, and he uses it for the strikeout to end the top of the first inning. Braves coming up in the bottom of the first. Ronald Acuna Jr. will lead it off. And on the mound, kid from Milton, Georgia, back near his hometown, Dylan Cease. Well, high velocity fastball, 97 or so, and that slider at about 88 that is his kind of wipeout pitch. Mm -hmm. Opponents only hitting 120 off his slider this year. Yeah, he's having a great season. Ronald sends this out to left, and Profar will take it on a hop. Lead-off single for Acuna. Well, that's a good sign for Acuna, getting off to a good start here. Slider there, it stayed kind of up. And now Ozzy Albies, who drove in the Braves' only run last night, and it came in the ninth inning. Wasn't really much to write home about. It did, however, keep the Braves' streak alive. The Braves have not been shut out in 166 games. And Ozzy sends this to right center field. It drops. Acuna to third and the Braves have something brewing here in the bottom of the first. Well, we talked about the top of the order set the table and they've done that. Let's see if Ozuna and Olsen can drive him in. Boy needed to see that didn't we? Big time. Let's have a big inning. Runners of the corners. No one out for Marcel Ozuna. Marcel brings with him an 11 game hitting streak into the action. That is strike three. And he does get that outside corner that time. Zuda's frustrated. That's out number one of the inning. You cannot place this pitch any better on the outside corner. Watch the glove. Watch the location. Splits that corner. Spins it. Got him. First and third with one away from Matt Olson. With Acuna Jr. at third. Albies at first. One away here in the Braves' first inning. Well, there's a line drive, and it'll produce a run. Matt Olson brings in Acuna, and Atlanta leads it one zip. Needed that in the worst possible way. Now we're talking. He's trying to go back door with it. Matt, of course, with those long arms, was able to serve this thing out down the right field. Not only get the run in, but also get Ozzy to third, where you still got a chance now for sack fly, ground ball, get another run in. So Atlanta only scored two runs total in the first two games of the series but a chance to tie or maybe eclipse two here in the bottom of the first inning as Arcia digs in swinging a miss yeah. and he struck him out second strike out of the inning for Cease and a few fastballs that time to Arcia including the last one so two down here in the first first and third and Michael Harris the other way and this will drop four singles here in the first inning for Atlanta and the Braves grab a two to nothing lead. Yeah, interesting enough, you have you saw RC a minute ago, Brandon, not picking on him. You have the big swing, you get the fastball blown right by you. An early visit from the entire infield here as the Braves have taken a two to nothing lead. Harris at first, Olsen at second, two down for the right hand hitting Zach Short. In the air, right center field, pretty well struck. 
Jackson Merrill, though, into the gap. And about five feet shy of the warning track, he makes the catch to end the first inning. 2 nothing Braves have the lead over the Padres as Marcelo Zuna is coming up here to lead it off. He's really had a tremendous season so far for Atlanta. 11 game hitting streak. 395, 1100 uh, the OPS. Three homers, nine runs batted in during the 11 game hitting streak. 3 2 and a towering fly ball to deep left field, drifting back to the wall. Profar keeps drifting with it, and it's out of the ballpark. Home run for Marcelo Zuna. That's his 13th of the year, RBI 42. And it's now 3 0 Braves on the skyscraper to left field. Extends his hitting streak to 12 in a row. That is the fourth home run during that streak, and he's hitting about 400. Well, that's the thing, too, when you're facing a guy like this tacking on some runs. So Dylan Sees comes into today with a 2 4 5 ERA, and the Braves already with a 3 0 lead. And now back to back. Hello, Chop House. And goodbye, baseball. That thing was crushed off the bat of Matt Olson. That'll be one of the hardest hit balls of the season for Matt Olson. Looked like a slider down. That was a rocket out of here. Tenth start of the year for Dylan Cease, and he has already allowed a season-high seven hits. And we're only in the third. And the sacks are packed for Ronald Acuna with two down here in the bottom of the third inning. Looking to add on to this 4-0 lead. Brown ball. Diving stopped by Bogarts, but nothing to do with it. And Bogarts might be injured. As the Braves score another run five to nothing but all eyes on the star second baseman Xander Bogarts from the reaction it looks like it might be a shoulder. Oh, you're right it's that left shoulder that's what he landed on. Well, you got a guy in Bogarts who has a decorated career he's on that big contract 11 years 280 million dollars but he's having a rough season offensively he's trying to adjust to the playing second base. And he's in enough pain that it looks like they're going to take him out here. He knew it right away, too. So leadoff double for Manny Machado starts things here in the fifth. Here is Tyler Wade for the first time today. Took over defensively for Xander Bogart. Try to lay down a bunt. Albies will have to hurry. What a play! Oh, my! Flipped it with his glove and gets Wade at first base. I tell you, that, that is an unbelievable play. I didn't think he had any chance at this, especially where he put it. It was past Lopez. I mean, this is your only move. Even barehanded is not going to work because of where you got to go. And what's amazing, how much, look how much force he gets on this toss out of his glove. On the ground to second base. Albies will go to first for the out and a run will score. In from third comes Manny Machado. Padres are on the board. It's now five to one. So Minter comes out of the bullpen, strikes out the first guy that he sees. And now two on and two out for Jackson Merrill in a lefty lefty setup here against Minter. Line to center field, a base hit for Jackson Merrill. Profar being waved around. The throw will be late. And the Padres pick up their second run. Jackson Merrill driving it in. That is huge for Jackson Merrill. That's battling. 5 2 Braves have the lead over the Padres. The Padres have set themselves up nicely here. Bases loaded. For Jake Cronenworth. Line to center field, a base hit for Cronenworth. From third comes Kim. Behind him is Tatis. And this is a one run ball game. In the month of April, it looked like the Padres were going to be a big come from behind kind of team. It's been a little while, but here this afternoon, a little bit of that feel. Down 5 0 to the Braves. It is now 5 4. With runners on first and second, one out in the eighth inning. Line to left center field. That is in for a hit. It's a gapper. Coming around from second is Profar to tie it. Cronenworth from first to put the Padres on top. They take the 6 5 lead. Danny Machado with a gapper to left center. Padres have come all the way back to take the lead. Break their hearts. Battle. Late in the game. We've seen this before. Robert Suarez on to try and close this thing out for the Padres. Big three outs to get. And the slimmest of margins, though, as Michael Harris the second, Zach Short, and Jared Kelnick are scheduled to bat here against the Padre closer. To center. Over the shoulder is Kim to make the catch. Ha oh, Song Kim. What a catch. Out number one of the night. Robert Suarez loved it. One down in the ninth inning. Here is Adam Duvall. 
Pinch hitting for Zach Short, the third baseman. Duvall, the soft liner that is caught at first base by Jake Cronenworth. So two very good defensive plays to open up this bottom of the ninth. Two down. Two really nice plays by the Padres for the first two outs here in the ninth inning. And the Braves down to their final hope in Jared Kelner. In the air to left field down the line as Zokar moving over. And he'll make the catch and the Padres win. They were trailing five to nothing in the game. They come back to win it six to five in dramatic fashion. Game one of the doubleheader and the Padres have taken the first three games of this four game series in Atlanta.